Right then, welcome back to a uh, cold Saturday morning. Why is it whenever you want to work on a car it's either pissing down or freezing cold? It's been quite nice all week. But anyway, um, hope you've had all good a new year. Hope you haven't got too fat on mince pies and chocolates, uh, like I have. So I'm going to attempt to burn some of those calories off and do a bit of work on the Land Rover. As the title suggests, uh, some modifications, not major. And a few little uh, repairs, well I say repairs, it's more like uh, improvements. Uh, some bits there, so I'll put this tripod down and uh, you can have a look and see what we're doing. Right, we're going to start with something really easy, and that's uh, we be placing this, uh, can you see me there, uh, rubber door seal here. Because after a heavy amount of rain, I've noticed up here, on this door seal, it's been dripping water down. I'm not sure whether it probably is the seal because it's all ripped at the bottom there, so might as well replace it. Uh, and hopefully, that should be uh, end of my water trouble woes. So let's get the new one out. So it's a bit part item, uh, part number is 200-10541 and there's somebody here so I'm going to pause this a minute. So according to this, this does both front and rear doors, uh, obviously on this side, you can see that it's all the way around isn't it. That's a new one. Feels the same as the other one, so I'd have liked a genuine one, but uh, they didn't have one on eBay, so went for this one instead. And it were only well, we're about sixty-five quid. So I'll take this one off. I'm going to take this kick plate off here so I can get this rubber off. I uh, forgot about that. Right, old one's out. Uh, it looks pretty tired to be honest with you. It's all uh, split there. I'll keep it as a spare anyway, I think. in the corner As you can see, I'm fighting a bit with this. It's uh, not as uh, supple as the original Land Rover ones, put it that way.
Well, that's a nice tight fit now. For a bugger to get in anyway. If you're putting your own in, put loads of WD-40 in seal, it goes in a lot better. Plus it, it'll kind of evaporate anyway. Make sure you get right into the corners as well, up here, up here. Yeah, so that's one job done anyway. Let's see what else we've got. So for Christmas, and my wife, uh, she got me some uh, indicator light uh, guards, sorry, and some rear tail light guards as well, but bumper. It's awesome on eBay, but they're a bit expensive. Well, like 80 quid for a pair, but I went on to I think it was AW 4x4, and these were 11 quid for front, 22 quid for back. So, can't argue with that. Let's get a drill. Try a 3 mil hole, pilot hole to start with, and then uh, we'll get some screws fired in. Unfortunately they don't come with any screws, um, but I found some large pan head screws which will hold it in nice and tight. Drill a slightly bigger hole. One side done, I'll go and do it with them now. I won't bother filming because you've already seen this side, haven't you? So, so just moving on to the rears now. That's what they look like. That's what it looks like when it's on. Already done my holes. I've put some masking tape on to stop bubble getting scratched and they're slipping off.
taking some drilling is that. Right, what a pain in the ass that's been. I've just broke three drill bits trying to get through this bumper. I keep forgetting once you go through here, there's like a really thick bracket behind that you've got to drill through as well. They kept breaking my drill bits. Uh, but anyway, we're through on this one. So what I'm using is some stainless M5s uh, and some lock nuts and washers to go on back of them. And it's going to go like that, obviously. Let me screw this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can basically see there where the screw comes through. You've got to get that thick plate there, you've got to draw it way through that. And then same on the other side. So just bear that in mind if you do it same. Right, so I think that about wraps it up for today. Done the light guards, done the indicator guards, done the door seal. Uh, I've just been putting some stainless screws in here because the heads are all chewed up on these ones as you can see made out of pure cheese I think so I think that's it for today I did want to do a bit more on it with the hoses and stuff but it's just too cold today and I'm running, running out of time so uh, we'll leave it for now and then we'll come back again another time so we'll catch you again soon see you later